Okay, I got to throw it back inside of the studio with the rest of the traffic and the forecast conditions. Cute little dog. Thanks so much, <laughs> Kevin. See, I thought he was supposed to be on a boat. I thought he was talking yeah, about safety, safety today. something. So far, he's uh, talking with, with you know, people walking by. Pretty ladies with the oh, dogs. Oh, 7.30, I'm told. <laughs> Mr. Our, Google, oh, our Google producer just told me 7.30. Right. Thank you, John. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, we are going to expect to see some rain this afternoon. The bulk of the moisture is going to be coming in tomorrow night, believe it or not. But it's going to be moving through. It's going to last for quite some time. We are going to be seeing heavy amounts of rain, 30-plus millimeters. Non-severe thunderstorms, excuse me, today and even into tomorrow. The risk for Tomorrow is going to be more so Toronto and east. The risk for today is Toronto and south. We will take a look at your May long weekend forecast in a moment, but first, here's Tom. All right, so here's that frontal boundary. It's going to be moving through southern Ontario. The low is going to be bringing us significant amounts of rain throughout the day tomorrow. By Friday, we do start to clear out in through Saturday, chance of a few isolated showers. Temperatures are going to be a big story for this holiday weekend because we're starting off cool. We're looking at 13 for Friday and Saturday. We start to warm up slightly for Sunday with a clearing trend, and then for Monday, we're going to be seeing some sunshine and a daytime high of 60. This snow was the worst weather yesterday until these formed. Coming up, shelf clouds, tornado warnings, and rotation, all too close for comfort. I want to start things off by thanking everyone who sends me these wonderful tweets with pictures attached explaining what the weather is like in their area. And I got a couple of interesting tweets yesterday. This first one from Christopher saying, please do not rain. I'm seven over with one hole to play in lovely Essex County. Oh, yeah. You know what? Some areas got away with no rain yesterday, and other areas really did see uh, some serious thunderstorm activity. And in through Pickering, one area that did see some serious thunderstorms, uh, we got this picture sent in, pretty stormy. And then this morning, Blair sent in this photo talking about intense fog in northwest Mississauga. So that could reduce visibility. So if you're just about to head out, think about that on the roads, you could see some fog. Now, because the weather has been so intense, Tense as of late. I brought in a helper yesterday to help me with the forecast. Uh, my daughter Brooklyn decided she'd try her hand while eating crackers at doing the forecast. She did a pretty good job. People are telling me that I should be threatened. <laughs> All right, temperatures this weekend because it is the May 2 4 weekend. Everybody is talking about it. What's it going to be like? Is it going to be a washout? No. We do have a parade of lows moving their way through southern Ontario, but the good news is that we will see a little bit of sunshine. The bad news is that temperatures are going to be cold. If you've got travel plans to the west, we're looking at below seasonal temperatures across the prairies. Vancouver, however, looks pretty good for Friday. For Saturday, things start to warm up in the west. You want to see the warm colors. You want to see the oranges and the reds and the yellows. You don't want to see the blues and the purples. Thankfully, we're not going to be seeing any of those, but through Toronto, we're only looking at 14 degrees for Saturday. Sunday, things start to get a little bit better. Still a little bit unsettled, but temperatures start to warm up. Yay, we get close to seasonal for Sunday. And then holiday Monday, we do have the chance for a few isolated showers, but again, temperatures staying closer to our seasonal averages. So all in all, not looking like a horrible weekend, but temperatures are certainly going to be cooler than things were last weekend. Send me a tweet. Let me know what you're up to. I'd love to hear from you. Here's Tom now with traffic. Thanks, Kevin. I remember those life jackets when I was a kid, and we used to go out on my dad's boat, and he would make us wear these, like, keyhole ones. Yeah. And they were red, and you wedge them to your head, and they would stick out, like, here, and it was just, it made the whole experience just awful. Very unpleasant, yeah. yeah but those new life jackets are amazing. Yeah, they're making them for comfort, and all these oh, reasons. Yeah. People, there's a tendency people just don't wear them, you know, because they're, they're uncomfortable. uncomfortable. But if they make them comfortable, yeah. they can save your life. And they're so skinny, so I think the and day of the keyhole is over. As, yeah, well, <laughs> especially this weekend, too, because yeah. the water temperatures are very, very cold. If you fall in, uh, you're going to get hypothermia. Five degrees below yeah. normal yeah. right now because of all the ice and the cold winter we all had, which I don't need to remind you of. They're 30 millimeters. We are going to be dealing with a kind of parade of lows, and I'll get to the nitty-gritty details in just a moment. But first, Tom, what's going on on the roads? Well, we are going to be seeing this area of low pressure move through starting tonight. It's kind of that frontal boundary. It's just a series of lows, one after another after another moving through. The heaviest rain is going to be tomorrow afternoon, and that's our best chance of seeing isolated thunderstorms. It's still going to stay fairly unsettled for Friday into Saturday. We do have the chance of showers, and temperatures are going to be a little bit colder behind that cold front. We're looking at 13 degrees for both Friday and Saturday, but conditions start to improve by the end of the weekend. 
Another area of low pressure moving in. The boundary is going to start to make its mark later on this afternoon. And then throughout the day tomorrow, we'll see a bit of a break. The heaviest precipitation is going to be tomorrow night. 30 plus millimeters not out of the question for some parts of the GTA. The thunderstorm risk through the GTA today is mostly to the south and then to the east through Ottawa and Montreal throughout the day tomorrow. We are going to be seeing a bit of a break over the weekend, so it's not going to be a complete washout, but temperatures are going to be below our seasonal average until Sunday. Visit us. And of course, does this thing have a horn in it or what? Sure does. There you go. Just for the kids. Okay, back inside. That was for you, Emily. Back inside here. <laughs> Kevin, that was great. That totally just made our morning right there. Honk, honk. <laughs> you always got to blow the horn. That was awesome. I mean, that's the way it is. Does this thing have a horn on it? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this weekend, I mean, the forecast isn't great for boating, but I know a lot of people are really anxious to get out on the water. So, yeah, of course, be safe. It also has a siren. Yeah, and, Kevin red, won't, and, Kevin, red, and red lights. Kevin won't be allowed to play with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, the rain that's on the way, because of this frontal boundary in this next area of low pressure that we're going to be dealing with, we're looking to the east, the Ottawa-Montreal corridor. I'll continue to talk about our temperatures for this weekend. You're going to want to stick around for those. But first, I'm going to turn things over to Tom for an update on the roads. A lot of people are anticipating this May long weekend, and unfortunately, we've got some unsettled conditions to get us there. We're looking at that heavy rain coming in tomorrow afternoon and in through the overnight, tapering off throughout the day on Friday. Saturday, chance of isolated showers. Sunday, high pressure builds in. Sunday and Monday are certainly going to be our two best days for the weekend because Friday and Saturday, fairly wet and fairly cool, only 13 degrees. 14 for Sunday, and then for Monday, we bump up to 16 degrees, and that's probably where we're going to see the most sunshine as well. Wow. 50-year life jacket for each person on board. And this this is one, I've, I've been working on it. There you go, it extends. You're a seasoned boater already. I'm a seasoned boater already, Emily. Did you hear that? I'm a seasoned boater already, back inside of the studio. Well, not really. I'm, I still have a lot to know. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Uh, yeah, when do you become a seasoned boater? I think you have to be doing it for years and years and years and years and years. Well, there's a lot to learn. I mean, yeah. there's a lot to learn. That's why they have this boat smart program because yeah. you have to be online for quite some time in order to get that uh, get that card. And I really like the fact that the keyhole life jackets are out. They're no longer. I remember <laughs> going on the boat with my dad, and you'd have to wear them, and they'd be so tight around your neck, and you could never get them to sit properly, and they would be sticking up in the air. And well, they've, they've done a good job. Of, yeah, they've done a good job of making them fashionable as well as uh, e easily worn. So, <laughs> do they uh, match with my skirt? Well, you could do that. You probably could do that. But the thing is, it's important to wear it. Yes, that's the main thing. Okay, well, we do have some rain on the way. We've got some unsettled conditions pushing us into the weekend. And this low pressure is going to be a bit of a nuisance until kind of mid-weekend. I'll talk about that in a minute, but first, here's Tom. Weekend forecast. Well, the frontal boundary, thanks, Tom, is going to be a bit of a nuisance for the next couple of days. This low is going to bring us quite a bit of rain, heaviest tomorrow afternoon, Starting to taper off by Friday, chance of showers for Saturday, and then finally high pressure moves in for Sunday and into Monday. Temperatures are a big story. We do have them cooling down significantly for Friday and Saturday. Sunday we only bump up to 14, and then Monday we're looking at 16 degrees with some sunshine. So if you are planning any kind of outdoor activities, that the latter part of the weekend would probably be your better bet throughout the GPA. Up next. A new area of low pressure is going to be moving in through southern Ontario, giving us some pretty decent rainfall amounts. By tomorrow afternoon, 30 plus millimeters in the forecast for Kitchener through Waterloo. Now, we do have the risk for some isolated thunderstorms today, but very, very isolated and non severe in nature. For tomorrow, the thunderstorm risk is going to be more so the GTA up towards the Ottawa Montreal area. Now, this low, it's going to be a fairly fast mover, but then another one is right on its heels, getting us into the weekend. So, we are going to be seeing some unsettled conditions tomorrow into Friday and scattered showers Saturday. Temperatures will be below seasonal, but things Things will start to clear out for Sunday and into Monday. Some great information there on Science Behind the Weather. It's all about tornadoes. For more videos, head to our website, theweathernetwork.com. It's Wednesday, it's the 14th of May. I'm Emily Vukovic. We've been talking about the stormy weather, but everybody wants to know what the weather is going to be like this weekend. Before we get to your forecast, we're going to check in with Kevin Yard. He is at Toronto Harbor talking all about boat safety. What have you learned so far, Kevin? Thanks, Kevin. That's awesome. Everybody wants to blow the horn. This area of low pressure is going to be moving its way north and east, but we are going to see showers getting us right into the weekend. This weather's. You can check out all our top five videos at theweathernetwork.com. 
I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday, May the 14th, and it's all about boat safety today. Kevin Yard joins us at Toronto Harbour. Kevin, what have you learned so far today? Always. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Well, we are expecting to see some pretty decent rainfall amounts coming up, getting us into this weekend with cooler temperatures. Around the world in 80 seconds. Thanks for that, Kim. It's Wednesday, it's the 14th of May. I'm Emily Vukovic. We've been discussing our stormy weather yesterday. Well, unfortunately, it's going to continue for the next couple of days. Now, the bulk of this moisture with this new area of low pressure is going to be coming in tomorrow afternoon and in through the night. So we're looking at 30 plus millimeters in some areas. The thunderstorm risk for today and tomorrow looks quite similar. We are going to see that risk Toronto and south today, but tomorrow it's going to be more so for Toronto and east. So if you do have travel plans up towards Ottawa and Montreal, you're still going to be seeing some stormy weather. That area of low pressure sticks around throughout the day on Thursday into Friday, isolated showers throughout the day on Saturday. The big story, of course, is going to be our temperatures. We're dropping below our seasonal average for Friday and Saturday, start to warm up for Sunday, and by Monday, we're getting close to seasonal again. Some beautiful spots to visit this summer, for sure. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday. It's May the 14th. We've been talking about the stormy weather yesterday, the stormy weather that's to come, and, of course, we've been talking about this long weekend up ahead. Rain yesterday through Waterloo through the evening. Not a lot of people were prepared. The rain started suddenly. We were talking about the risk for some isolated thunderstorms, and that's exactly what we got. And expected throughout much of the GTA with this next low that's going to be pushing through. Now we've been talking to Kevin Yardy, joins us at Toronto Harbour this morning, all about boat safety. And Kevin, I see you've got your life jacket on just in case. Thanks, Kevin. Unsettled as we get into the long weekend and temperatures a little bit below our seasonal average as well. Coming up, your weather IQ with Chris May. Go. Tom Reynolds thinks an ISO bar is a bar where you can get cold drinks. No, he knows the real answer. <laughs> we joined Kevin Yard live this morning. He is at Toronto Harbour uh, enjoying the warm temperatures. But Kevin, what are you learning so far about boat safety? Thanks so much, Kevin. This area of low pressure over the next couple of days is going to bring some Oh, isolated showers, potential for thunderstorms, and some heavy rain at times. Temperatures also getting us into the long weekend are going to be below seasonal. This weather